Hey guys, my name is Doug with infotainment.com. Uh, today we're in the late model Dodge Durango 2014 and up. Today I want to show you guys how easy it is to upgrade to the new um, UAS UAQ uh, option code 8.4 inch screen, CarPlay, and Android Auto compatible unit. All you have to do is replace your display replace your USB hub if you have a 14 through 17 you'll replace the USB hub here and um, those of you who have the smaller screen you will also have to replace the bezel but if you already have the 8.4 inch screen it's just a simple swap um, so since this vehicle is a 2017 um, I will need to replace the hub here so basically what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, remove this um, lower console here um, which is pretty easy to do if you have the right tools. Uh, basically what you're going to do is you're going to want to pop this out. If you lift up on it here, it just kind of comes up. Then underneath this little leather uh, part here, there's little clips that kind of hold it in place. And once you pop those free, there's two here and two here. You just got to get up under it and then pop those out. Now what we're going to want to do, as you'll notice these little things here, you got to push it in from underneath so it comes up. What we want to do is we want to put the vehicle in neutral, put your emergency brake on and we can shut the car off. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect this little piece here, connector. All right, now that we have this um, little leather cover up, that gives us access to the T20 screw, as I mentioned. So we're gonna wanna remove that and then this just slides off, so it's pretty easy. Once you do that, you just lift up on this. There's gonna be a couple cables you'll disconnect. This is just like a um, little uh, ambient light for the cup holders. And then I'll spin it around here. So what we'll do is remo remove these four screws here. These are also T20 screws. Um, and then replace it with the, the new hub. This is the CarPlay Android Auto Hub. All right, now that that's installed, we're just gonna disconnect these connectors. And we're gonna plug them into the replacement hub. You can now set this aside. And plug in our ambient light. Now we can reinstall our shifter the same way we took it apart. Okay, now that that's all pushed back into place, go ahead and pop this in place. Put our vehicle in park. Now we can shut the vehicle off completely. All right, now that our hub is in, uh, we just need to replace the display here, the screen. So what we're gonna do is, you could use a dash pry tool or a regular flathead screwdriver. And then basically what we wanna do is just get around the perimeter of this bezel. It's just held in with retaining clips. So there's no extra screws or anything like that. Don't worry, it's not gonna break. Let's get around the perimeter and we're gonna disconnect this little connector here. Now that'll give us access to the four 
20 millimeter screws. Once out, we're just gonna disconnect the connectors. The larger connector here, you're gonna push this tab in and then lift the lever up and that'll actually release it. Now we can install the new, this in this case, the UAQ embedded navigation unit. 100% factory pre-programmed. You'll notice it fits exactly. We can reinstall our four screws. Now that that's all installed, those four screws, we can reinstall the bezel. As I mentioned, if you have the smaller screen, you wanna to upgrade to the 8.4 screen, um, you will need this bezel here. So give us your VIN number upon checkout and we'll be sure to match it up so you get the right one. The bezel just pops right back into place. All right, now that we have everything popped into place, let's start it up. So those of you who didn't have the 8.4 8 inch screen before, right away you notice a nice big display. Um, backup camera, everything that you have in your vehicle, the dynamic grid lines, that will all continue to work as designed. Um, steering wheel controls for volume, whatever the case may be, uh, seek up, seek down, um, that will all continue to work 100% um, plug and play. Again, we pre-program these so you don't need to go to the dealer, you could do this in your own garage. Um, the UAS and the UAQ system, as I mentioned, the UAS is the non-NAV system, the UAQ is the NAV, which means it has embedded built-in NAV. Um, they both have HD radio, which is pretty cool. Um, obviously, you'll have your AM, FM, and satellite radio. So that's pretty neat. Media section will give you Bluetooth streaming audio, USB, aux input. Um, the, the little um, hub below your radio is where that will all feed from. Controls. If you have heated seats, heated wheel, AC seats, uh, the headrest fold, that will all mirror onto the screen. The only time you will need an extra module to retain those is in 2014 Durango's. As of now, we do sell a separate little module you'll install behind the radio to retain heated seats, cooled seats, and heated wheel. Again, that's only for 2014 vehicles. Uconnect apps uh, gives you access to all the different apps um, that the, the radio comes with. Um, the one thing you will lose, those of you who have the Uconnect Access, which is the smartphone app on your phone where you can start your car and find its location and stuff, you will forfeit that feature because the new system uses Sirius Guardian. Um, so you will forfeit the Uconnect Access. The Bluetooth Uconnect still works 100% plug and play. You have your climate feature just like before. Your phone, you will have to repair your phone so you'll proceed uh, to repair it here. Uh, as I mentioned, the UAQ does have built-in nav. This is a really cool nav system. Um, far better than any other system that Durango has had. Um, go to view map. It's got the pinch to zoom, which is really neat. Um, you know, it has all the traditional features that nav systems come with these days, uh, you know, where you can go to points of interest, uh, point on a map, plan your trips, uh, so on and so forth. You don't have anything, you know, tacky hanging on your windshield. You're not fooling with your phone. Uh, this has the embedded nav, which is really cool. Now, those of you who would want to save a little bit of money and would rather just use the maps on your, you know, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, you can save a little bit of money by going with the UAS non-nav system. So that being said, let's get right down to the CarPlay. We do have other videos online. 
um, showing tutorials on how the Android Auto works. Uh, but in this video, I'm going to show you guys how CarPlay works. So you're going to use your factory lightning cable, plug it into the USB port of the new hub we just installed, and then plug it in the bottom of your phone. Now you have full Apple CarPlay control in your vehicle. So this is a really cool system, latest and greatest technology. Uh, you can access your phone, Apple Music, if you have a subscription there. You can go to Apple Maps. Um, it works just like um, it does on your phone, but it's mirrored onto your screen, which is really cool. Um, the messages feature, the system will actually read your text messages to you. You can then read back to it what you want it to send. So that's a very cool safety feature. Um, other things about what's playing podcasts, audiobooks, Spotify, you could put Pandora, all other sorts of really cool apps that you can put on here. So that's just a basic tutorial of the Apple CarPlay. A really cool system, guys. People have been asking for this forever, and we finally have the solution here in 2018. Um, so come check us out, infotainment.com. Thanks for watching, guys.